fire is a good thing. Um, you know, a lot of people perceive fire as, as something that, you know, it's bad because there's been a lot of mishaps. Um, but, you know, as far as its role, what it actually does out in the forest, you know, it, it does a lot of good. It does more good than bad. Um, you know, media puts it out there that, you know, oh, this thing is charred, it damaged so many acres. But, you know, if you come back and look in retrospect, you know, a year or two later and what it's actually done, it's helped regenerate a bunch of seeds and, uh, you know, get that stuff established in the ground nutrients and soils. And, you know, it's actually just starting the process all over again, which is what every forest needs. Uh, you go back to, uh, you know, a history with Native Americans. They used to do that, and, you know, it, it, that was their uh, use for managing land, and, you know, it, it, it worked just fine. I think now with the uh, influence of Urban Interface, um, there's, uh, you know, a lot more reason not to put fire on the ground and use it as a tool. But uh, overall, I think, you know, it, it's, it's probably the best thing for us. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, fire of its own, you know, natural causes is one thing, but uh, when there's people out there that are lighting fires intentionally for their own reasons, whether it's, um, you know, a personal tweak that they get or, um, you know, they're upset at, uh, you know, an agency as a whole, the government, or whatever it is, um, I, you know, I don't think they're, they're taking into thought what they're actually doing and what the potential you know, outcome is. I think they just look, they just want to light fire and, and, and take a look at it for that reason. But um, the outcome, yeah, I mean, we've had plenty of fires that, that people have gotten killed on. I can think back to the Esperanza, you know, they caught the guy that lit the fire, but, you know, I mean, five firefighters lost their lives to that. Um, not just the firefighters, you know, um, you know, there's repercussions, their families, you know, how many people that, you know, their family, they were married, they had kids you know, loved ones or friends, um, and then, you know, that's the immediate, and then as a whole, you know, it it, uh, it really does uh, it touch everybody as far as firefighting community goes. Um, we look at it, you know, as a tight niche with, uh, you know, hot shots. We've always had that, that saying, you know, the brotherhood. Um, so, you know, it's firefighters, regardless of whether you're a hot shot or not, you're forest service, you're a firefighter with, you know, Cal Fire. I mean, we're all doing the same thing out there. And, uh, you know, whether you're wearing a, a blue shirt, a green shirt, it doesn't matter what color hard hat. Um, we're all out there doing the same job. And, you know, all the differences aside, whether it's a jurisdictional, you know, invisible line, uh, we all want the same thing is for everyone to come home safe. Um, you know, nobody wants to go on the hill with 20 and come back with 19. So um, that's my thoughts on that.